hello wonderful people you're welcome to my youtube channel i hope you are doing fine just as i am also fine my name is bola and today we'll be looking at how to draft a basic bodice pattern we'll be drafting a basic bodice pattern and on my table i already have my paper my pattern paper and i've noted my lines the first line here is my shoulder line my shoulder line i have my bust line here the waist line and the hip line the blouse length and the allowance for my shoulder to my bust i'm using 10.5 for my measurements today the shoulder line to my bust line is 10.5 my waist line 17 the hip line 24 my blouse length and the hala ones okay so on this shoulder line i'll be determining my shoulder measurement the shoulder measurement i'm working with is eight inches eight inches i'll be taking half inch allowance so on this line I'll be determining my arm o, my arm o measurement. The arm o I'm working with is 8.5 inches, 8.5. So I'll be making that into a straight line as well. So I'll be determining the midpoint of my the midpoint is here to locate my front arm O. I'll be going in by three quarter inch. For my front arm O, I'll be going in by three quarter inch. So this is my front arm hole. And for the back arm hole, I'll be placing my arm hole cuff on the point and be cuffing it out. usually so because the front arm o is deeper than the back just to avoid excess of fabric around the armpit area that's why we usually dip the front arm o than the back arm o all right so i'll be moving over to the neckline i'll be taking four inches for my neck design and four inches depth as well Okay, we'll be noting our shoulder slope because the shoulder is not straight. The shoulder is our shoulder is not straight, so we'll be sloping one inch for our shoulder slope. We'll connect the points down here. okay so that's that we will coming over to the body to note our body circumference we'll be taking now our body circumference 
this alcohol line is now our chest line is now our chest line so i'll be taking my bust measurement on the chest line the bust measurement i'm working with is 40 40 divided by 4 will give us 10 so today i'll be taking 2.5 inch allowance 2.5 okay so i'll move on over to the waist the waist i'm working with is 36 inches the waist circumference of 36 inches into four would give me nine with 2.5 allowance i'm using 2.5 allowance because i'm going to take out my darts and that 2.5 as will be making room for the sewing allowance and for the darts. All right. So the hip measurement is 10.5. Hip of 42 inches, 10.5. With 2.5 allowance. okay so i'll be connecting the points together so let's connect the points together now okay i haven't connected the points we will then move over to determine our ball span we'll be determining our ball span for our darts so the ball span i'm working with is 4.5 Bus span of 4.5. I will determine that I will note the 4.5 on my bust line, my waistline, and my hip line. So I will make it into a straight line. In taking our dart, I will come down one inch from my bust line. I'm coming down one inch from my bust line. And on the hip line, I will go up two inches. The hip line, I'm going up two inches. And on the bust line, I'm coming down by one inch okay so i'll come over to the waistline i will deter i will take half inch on both sides i'll take half inch on both sides on the waistline i'm taking half inch on both sides so i will connect the four points together That is then our that. okay please note that we have, we have already made room for our that allowance where, where we are taking our allowance this is the allowance you know i use 2.5 i use 2.5 inch for the allowance all right so in if you are the type that you will be will be doing uh, the bus that let me quickly show you how to get that. You will calculate the distance from your chest line to the waist line. The distance from your chest line to the waist line. 
my distance from my chest line to my waistline is nine inches so i will note the midpoint the midpoint is 4.5 the midpoint is 4.5 so i will connect this 4.5 down to the bust line i'll connect it down to the bust line Okay, for my bust that I'm taking the distance between my waistline and the chest line and I'm connecting it to the bust line, to this dart line here, to the bust pan. I'm connecting it here. So I'll move one inch away. I'll be moving one inch away from the bust line. I'll move one inch away from the bust line. So while taking my dart, my dart is going to stop at this point. All right. So I'll come over here. I'll take half inch on both sides. I'll be taking half inch on both sides. So I'll connect it one inch away from my bust pan. Okay, so this is now the bust that. This is the bust that. Please note, when you are taking your bust that, you know, you'll be taking one inch now. And at the lower end of your blouse, your, it's going to come up. When you take this one inch, the lower end of your blouse will jump up. To avoid that, you're going to replace whatever we took out here. We'll replace it at the lower end here. You're going to whatever we took out here, you know, we've taken one hinge here. So we're going to replace it back at the at the end of the blouse. We're going to replace the one hinge at the end of the blouse. So we'll be connecting this back. So this is now our new allowance for the front pattern. You know, we'll be taking this bust that on the front pattern alone. So we'll be replacing it, the one inch we took, we're going to replace it back at the end of the blouse. So if, when you are now, when we want to cut, we are no longer cutting from this allowance line. We'll be cutting this way. All right, I hope that is taken now. So this is just the basic, the simple, way of determining your basic bodice pattern this is the foundation for determining the basic bodice pattern okay so because i'll be using this pattern for the front and the back line as well i already folded two inches for my zipper allowance the zipper allowance for the back Okay, so to avoid the SS, uh, SS fabric at the back line, you know, our back is not usually straight the way we cut it, we, we, the, way, the way we cut our pattern. So we'll be going in on the waistline, we'll be going in by half inch, we'll be going in on the waistline by half inch, just to allow, just to avoid SS fabric at the back. We're going to go in on the waistline by half inch, we'll connect it. To this upper part and then to the blouse length let me extend these lines okay so we're going to go in half inch on the waistline we're going in half inch on, on the waistline so we, are, we will extend it this way
sweet lotus. Go with this. To the hand. So, on this line as well, we'll go in half inch, we connect it down here. Okay, so can you see now? So on this waistline, it's going to go in. So we are not cutting straight. So that this this one will now make our blouse to sit properly at the back. It will it will avoid the folding that usually occur in most blouses when we make it. So this is just it for the back pattern. And you, you can change the neckline if you don't want the same leg design for the front and the back piece and and the back piece. Okay. So that is that about the basic bodies pattern. And please note, when you are drafting, when you want to cut out this pattern on your on your, on your material, you don't you cut from this original allowance because we are not using the bust. We are not using the bust that at the back. So we are going to cut from this from this allowance, not this one. We're only cutting this bone for the front because we'll be taking the bust that okay i hope that is well taken so this is just the pattern so let's cut out and i will show you what we have so this is what we have after cutting out we now have i i increase it by 0 0.5 inch for my allowance at the, sh the shoulder allowance okay so this is what we now have all right so thank you very much for staying with me till this time i i want to employ you to please subscribe like and share my videos and i will see you on my next one thank you bye